Last year, the University of Michigan Library and Detroit-based artist Doug Jones began a project titled Connect the Dots, Collective Interpretations of the UM Library Collections. Drawing inspiration from U of M library collection materials, Jones worked with community members in Ann Arbor and Detroit to paint 10 pieces of art. In each creation session, Jones walks participants through a process he has dubbed the pixel technique, a dot-by-dot -dot process akin to pointillism, where an image is broken down into individual pixels and painted one by one. The process allows for anyone, regardless of familiarity with any particular painting technique, to participate in the creation of the work. So my dream is to build global projects, and University of Michigan is overtly diverse. It's sort of a perfect place to draw um, material from. So for the past few months, I've been working with content specialists. Schools are helping me um, sort of sift through all of this and find um, um, a cohesive visual language that promotes diversity. So how my technique works is that I take an image, it's either hand rendered or it's a photograph. Um, so most of these images have a roughly approximately 32,000 dots. Um, so I take the image, I place a grid on it, I break it into a million dots, um, and then I develop, as part of this, I develop a color palette. When participants paint over the dots, it makes the dots more bold. Take what I call dot sheets into um, the spaces where they'll be painted by participants. Participants paint these, uh, these dot sheets, bring them to life, make them more bold, add human elements, so much better than just the digital elements. Then I take these, I collect these dot sheets, I take them back to my studio in Detroit, I adhere them with a special process to metal. In the end, the community helped create 10 pieces of art that represent a wide variety of ideas and subject matter. When he said that, uh, Kambar Han immediately came to mind. Uh, really, it uh, represents the diversity of the, the Chinese dance collection materials. She is a woman of ethnic minority background. She's a Uyghur, um, which is a Turkic-speaking uh, Muslim a minority group in Northwest China. So Stephen's work in total represents a view on life and the interrelatedness of life. He is entirely reliant for a lot of the work that he does on data that has been generated by other scientists around the world. You know, not all of this data was generated with the idea that you were going to use it for building gigantic trees of life, but now that we have it, we can put it to use for, for that because purpose. Because the hilia as a um, form is quite significant as a verbal icon. This form of representation of the prophet without uh, absolute figural representation, but more of this verbal description of the prophet's attributes combined with, with a graphic form. This is a way of appreciating um, certain aspects of the Prophet's character, um, of the, basically the elements to be emulated and, and celebrated um, while still respecting um, that, that representation.